Hi, what's up, y'all? What's cracking? What's popping? It's D Boss here because it's been by Tommy NFG. It's titled The Death of Going Viral. Mmm, mmm. He got Icy Spicy and the Huck Twa girl on the thumbnail. So, well, let's see what he has to say about them. Let's watch. Viral video. Huck Twa. A staple of the internet is people being bored and making someone random famous for no reason simply because people are bored. And everyone, whether they want to admit it or not, would love this type of attention. Which is why every content creator is pretty much competing for years 24 7 when you think about it. Not me, though. I mean, I guess it would be cool if you subbed, but like, I'm not really bothered. <laughs> And I guess it would be if you did to my second channel and a gaming channel and, and a stream too. <laughs> but like, I'm not really too worried about it. I'm good. Going viral <laughs> has been a thing since the internet has existed, really. It kind of shaped the internet as a whole. I mean, the only reason YouTube even got That's invented in the first video. place was because people were trying to find clear footage of Janet Jackson's nip. I'm not even joking. Like, that's actually why YouTube got created. But as oh, the internet has started to grow and that's grow, good. I can't be the only one that's noticed that going viral is kind of done. The art form that was once a masterful craft that took years and years to master is now dwindled yeah, people still to. Going Welcome, back to mm -hmm. Welcome back to talk to Welcome back to talk to Talk to <laughs> 15 seconds of she fame nowadays is more like three with some leeway sometimes. And I think the main difference of going viral in the past versus was she giving now tips on is how hair? easy What's... it is to go viral. Before when you went viral back in the day, aka any time pretty much before 2020 or TikTok, you were the internet star for the time. Like your meme was not leaving the mainstream feed for oh, a yeah, good it amount comes of time. And goes. It would have I'll time to that. soak in and eventually get to the point where Look damn near everyone knew what it was. A good example for this is damn damn. <laughs> them kids don't know about this one. This was Daniel. my hop two of it. Damn Daniel went viral, and I swear you couldn't escape this man in 2016. People's friends were trying to recreate the scene to go viral. He appeared in the YouTube Rewind in 2016. He appeared on That's Ellen crazy. and got a lifetime of vans. That's wild because he wasn't even the nigga that made it go viral. It was the the guy who was saying, "Damn Daniel." So why is Daniel getting all the the praise? <laughs> Well, obviously, it was years ago. Why was he getting all the praise? That's crazy. 44 million if, if, if they just showed him with his vans on or whatever, that wouldn't have went viral. It was just to put in perspective what type of Who motion Daniel was having. Oh, was it him? Ellen was a solidifier for your online stardom back in the day. Even if we go back to pre-internet times, a good example is Kim K. Back when Kim K got famous for dropping a sex tape, it was unheard. That shit was, it was ass, horny too. and in shambles, the Curry. worst type of horny. They couldn't believe a celebrity woman would just casually drop a tape to the public. And the worst part is, it, it was me. Like, if she dropped that tape, now n would call the stroke game subpar and move on. We've become too much of a gooner society. It wouldn't even matter. Not that I would personally know what happened in the tape. You know, I, like, I... I... <clears throat> But That's nowadays, all you gotta do is pay the price of a big Trash. back meal a month to see your favorite celebrity woman naked. With virality nowadays, the internet moves so fast, you're basically forgotten after a week. Multiple things are going oh, sure. viral a day at a rate where people can't even keep track. Compared to in the past, when the internet was smaller, just that one person would be known for a while. Like, I would say more people at their peaks were talking about damn Daniel than the TikTok Riz party kids. And this isn't to hate on them or any of these people, really. I'm simply talking about the effectiveness. Even music stars who blew up off memes, time is ticking faster. Ice Spice as an example. Ice Spice had like a solid year run, yes, maybe two is. if you really want to count it. I feel like she would have fell out the spotlight way faster if she wasn't doing the, you know, Ice Spice thing. But nowadays, she, she don't even seem to like it anymore. I've never seen anybody twerk with a straighter face. <laughs> Comparing her with someone that had a similar come up to her years ago, Lil Pump. I'm gonna say it like somebody got to. Lil Pump was popular and way more than Ice Spice ever was. Gucci Gang has a billion that plays on true. it alone. Like he's retired off this song by itself. I remember growing up and all my five-year-old cousins were coming up to me singing Gucci Gang. And I'm bringing this up to show how virality is truly dying because they basically both had the same package. Both had their distinctive looks. Both had memes made around them. Both had cosigns by major artists. And one was going way crazier in their prime compared to the other. Granted, mm, Lil Pump's fall point. off is definitely more noticeable when he's pretty much turn into a Trump fan page. He just trying to get attention. Superstar. I would have never guessed that that made D Rose would start. <laughs> 
think Trump, but hey, I, I guess whatever gets you the back. Another thing that's changed virality and made it different is the sheer amount of people online. Like the meme dies so much faster than it did in the past because everybody eventually starts using it. People either use it in the wrong way or just use it in an unfunny way. All the brand accounts online try to copy it and go viral in the moment. And the time you'll know the meme is truly dead is when your parents or an older family member brings it up to you. Like that's the final call and to time to wrap it up. And with the internet being so big, you might be in one community on the internet where something goes mega viral over there. And you think to yourself, everyone's got to know this meme by now. But then you come to find out that nobody knows it except for you and the people who watch that person. Like, have you ever had to explain to a friend somebody that you've watched so much and seems big to you, but they have no clue who the person is? And that ain't a bad thing either. It's not like you're supposed to know everybody on the internet. But we live in such a weird internet climate nowadays that if you're not guaranteed to be popping online by the masses, people will just spam laughing emoji and who in the comment section. Like, you're not supposed to know every person, my The internet has eight billion people on it. I feel like more people gave a chance to new talent back then compared to now. Before, people might follow your come up and try to see the heights you could reach potentially. But nowadays, if you do that, it's a dick riding or meat riding or glaze. These words have single-handedly ruined the internet. And don't even try to say you were inspired by anyone in 2024 in the slightest because it's a crime online. It's rare it's people want to get involved with someone on their come up now. Another thing that ruined internet virality for people is the sheer commodification of it. AKA turning the moment into an immediate business. Like before when a one hit wonder like Damn Daniel went viral on the streets. Sure, he would be on talk shows, getting guest appearances, etc. But even that wasn't the norm back then. Nowadays, a viral meme is gonna hire a lawyer, social media manager, private chef, real estate agent, and start strategizing on where to take it. Like, y'all remember the TikTok Riz Party kids? They had a whole ad collab with Mark Jacobs, what? the high-end fashion designer brand. Like, explain to me how these two images even correlate with each other. Or the hot tour girl. Like, why does the hot tour girl have a lawyer and Hollywood agent? Shaq giving advice on how to handle her fame. The only thing Shaq should be handling off court is girls half his size. And now has an official podcast called Talk Tua with Haley Welch. I told That's Randy kind of about Talk Tua. Oh, Lord, the end times on me. And like I said, I'm not hating on any of these people for trying to capture the moment. Yeah, 99% of the people making fun of it would trade their nuts or clit to be in the exact same position. But I blame the internet because in the past, this would not happen. The saddest part of all of this, though, is the downfall of these people after. Like, for the TikTok Riz Party guy at first, you could see his views are insane when the meme was first starting to blow up. But then slowly over time, it starts to go down and down and down. Then all the comments are filled is with people just talking about the fall. And sadly, that's the fate for a lot of these people and there's not much you can really do about it after it happens. There's also a clear difference too between an established content creator that blew up off a meme versus that. With the content creator, they already put in the work to show they're entertaining regardless of the meme. So even when it does die out, they still have something to fall back on. Versus a person who just blew up off their meme, people just see them as the meme and will never see them as anything else, sadly. Like, once the internet confirms it in their mind that you fell off, it's like getting sent to purgatory. More and more people start to say it until eventually the whole comment section is just saying you fell off. And it's funny to me when these people start to say this because at, at, at least the person had a moment. People spam bro fell off and act you like the person's life is over after. <laughs> Meanwhile, you've never had that moment in your life and you probably never will. <laughs> That's just like people who are just like, oh, this person only got a million subscribers. Oh my God. They, oh, you only got something such thousand views. You have you have no views. <laughs> nobody cares about what you're doing. If you put up a video, nobody would tune in. What are you talking about? There are some good examples of people that honestly did the transition well. Bad baby as an example. Now look, you don't have to like her or her online antics. But she went from being famous for saying catch me outside to making fifty million dollars. I mean she did on OnlyFans though, so is that really prop worthy? <laughs> It's, it's not like she did it from her music because she tried to do that at first. She tried to pivot and, and you know, make rap music and, and that didn't work. Then she started twerking on OnlyFans. So you'd be like, oh, she get her props though. She did it the right way. Did she? 
<laughs> and now she getting bopped upside the head in an abusive relationship with her baby daddy. Is this really a goal in life? I don't know. And y'all tell me. Like, she's 21 and can pretty much already retire. She's one. And even before that, she started making music that was blown up, which kept everyone talking about her. Like, the first couple of months is crucial for these viral sensations, and it's kind of a make or break. I would say in recent <laughs> times, Ice Excuse Spice me. has done it the best, even though I think her time is coming if she doesn't change something. Like, you're an artist, sweetheart. You can't twerk your way through everything. And she's been getting into so oh, much goddamn drama. People are just starting to straight up hate her. But hey, at least if she does fall off, her ticket right back up is OnlyFans and she'll be able to retire in about a month. So yeah, overall the internet just keeps growing and changing so who knows how viral moments are going to be in the future. They'll probably have a whole degree in studying it and make that a whole industry alone. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, he made some good points. People definitely went viral a, a lot easier back in the day I feel like. And the virality lasted much longer, for sure, you know, based on what he pointed out. Because, yeah, there were just less people on the internet, and I feel like it was just less activity. But now everybody has a social media platform. Everybody's posting content. So it's just so saturated, uh, and people are going viral for different things all the time. So it's easy for it to just get, you know, like brushed off and it's like, oh, on to the next you know, versus back, you know, some years ago, people didn't go viral nearly as often. So, yeah, it is kind of kind of dying out a bit. So, y'all better get on this social media shit while you can. <laughs> Time is ticking. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.